like, sometimes I feel like, oh, I should pose like this kind of modely. And then it's like, oh my God, you look like you're pregnant. <laughs> of course, Candace Bush Bushnell and Amy Harris posing on the carpet, which is what you guys are chatting about here. I got the inside scoop. But you ladies look beautiful tonight. And can I just hug you because you are responsible for Sex in the City, which is my life, basically. And, you know, now you're doing it all over again. How cool is that to start a whole new generation, a new show of Carrie and the, like a different gang and a new generation? We're very excited about it. I feel like we hope the fans who were always fans of Sex and the City will come and, and feel like it's a coming of age story that's very nostalgic for them. But we're very excited for the young new fans who feel like these are my stories being told really honestly and authentically. And I'm, I'm a Carrie, I'm a Maggie, I'm a mouse. So we really hope that people will come and sort of connect to those characters in the same way. And uh, for those fans who enjoy it, there'll be the little lines that you can kind of connect and say, oh, that was young Carrie. And, you know, she wears a C necklace instead of a Carrie necklace. There's little pieces of the puzzle. We're going to, little Easter eggs is what we like to call them for the audience. Love that. Well, can I ask, will there be a Hello Lover shoe moment? Will there be a new Manola Blahnik in town? I don't know. That's, no. I, I don't, I, that would be up to Eric Damon, I think. Yes. I mean, I don't necessarily know if we're going to start trending new designers, per se, but we definitely find out about her first love affair with shoes, and the shoes do not fit yet. That is all I can tell you, is they do not, they don't quite fit yet. She's growing into them, literally and figuratively. Which is something that I, I think has happened to a lot of young budding fashionistas Every you want girl. that pair of shoes and you don't care if they're too small or a little too big you're wearing them because they're 80 percent off that's so right. so that's where she's getting these from is that she's getting a pair that she's getting for cheaper i I'm like that no details all right i like the 80 percent off you have me <laughs> you had me at hello with that so now can i ask you how it is to adapt her iconic work, which everything you do turns into TV gold. I don't know how I you know. do it. Jeez Louise, it's crazy. <laughs> She's like the the Midas touch of television. Yeah. Um, kind of intimidating, um, not just because I love her work, which I do, but I also consider Candace a friend, and I loved working on Sex and the City, and I wanted to do the story justice that she'd written in the book. I remember reading the books long before it was even talked about as a series and thinking, I want to write this as a series. I hope they make it and thought, well, that'll never happen or I'll never be asked. And so for me, it was intimidating, but um, exciting to kind of figure out how to take this beautiful book and take it to the screen. And how is it for you to watch it all play out? It's, it's fantastic. Um, it's, it's, really fun people always ask is it nerve-wracking or but it, it actually isn't when you have when you have great people like Amy working on the show and writing the scripts and everybody brings all of their own experiences to the project which you absolutely want so I'm always thrilled well because I don't really want to go to the set every day oops <laughs> She's like, because I don't want to get up at 5.15 to be on set. No, now you get to kick back and relax. <laughs> I have another book too, but. Oh, boy. All right. Well, here's to the Carrie Diaries. Congratulations. A very Thank exciting very night. Much. Can't wait to watch it. And can we get a buzzy later into the camera? That's buzzy how we sign later? off. Yeah, because it's After Buzz TV. Sure. All right. Do it together? Yep. Buzzy, buzzy later. later.